What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Pretty Sweet Sasha Goes Hysteric Birthday Bash Blind. In the last episode, Seiko died, and it was very sad. She fell to, she fell victim to a, I guess, human-eating piece of bread monster thing. Um, it was pretty creative and pretty interesting. And in this episode, we are going to, I guess, start off with Kurosaki, who is also participating in this challenge, and see if he meets a similar fate. I will preface this by saying that I'm a little bit on edge, I guess, at the moment. I was playing Melee before this, and I was playing on Tilt towards the end, so I've got... A little bit of, like, kind of edgy, little, little anger feels to me right now, so I'm trying to hopefully dissipate that with some calm Corpse Party gameplay. So, hopefully that works. Anyways, what's up with this absurdly long plank of wood? I feel like I've seen something like in a manga before, but never in real life. Kurosaki peeked into the massive hole in the floor. And it's so deep. It's so dark, I can't even see the bottom. If you fell in there, you'd be dead for sure. There may be other traps concealed nearby. <laughs> what are you doing, Kurosaki? Hey, Mitsuki's with us. What am I doing? This place seems like it could be full of traps. If we don't take the time to look before we leave, we could be in serious danger. Okay. And what have you determined? Absolutely nothing. In that case, worrying about it isn't going to get us anywhere, is it? You may be right. And come on, let's get moving. As if to say, see, Mitsuki took the first step onto the plank of wood with no hesitation whatsoever. Mitsuki? <laughs> it's a little narrower than I expected, but it's stronger than it looks. As long as we take our time, I think we'll be okay crossing with this. Well, I certainly hope so. It may be fine now, but the farther you walk on it, the narrower it gets. So I still think it's too dangerous. Huh? It's so dark, it's hard to make out any details. How do you know it gets narrower? <laughs> because that's what it's always like in manga. Oh, Kurosaki. Well, even if that turns out to be the case, what other choice do we have? That's a fair point. That's right. So, if you won't continue past this point, please step aside and let me through. Oh, and Fukuroi has joined us. Darn it, Fukuroi! There's a limit to how far one should take the better safe than sorry mindset, don't you think? Yeah, I, I guess for what it's worth. That mindset has already been thrown to the wayside, given the fact that they are, I guess, attempting the challenge in the first place. <laughs> oh, but when you do decide to come across, be sure to keep your distance. If somebody has to fall, better it be one of us than all of us. Makes sense, makes sense. Fine, whatever. I still just can't see this ending in anything but disaster. You and me both, Kurosaki. You and me both. Kurosaki, are you afraid I'm going to do something? Well, yeah. How's anyone supposed to think otherwise in a situation like this? But I'm not going to do anything. Not here. I feel like the, impri or the implication there is, well, not here, but later, when you get there, oh yeah, definitely gonna do something. What? Really? Really. Up to you whether or not you believe me, but I think it'd be better if you did. I mean, like you, like anyone can really trust Sachiko, right? <laughs> There's no reason for you to keep your promises, though. Is there, Sachiko? 
Guess not. Why, I could end Kurosaki here with a snap if I wanted to. Don't believe her, keep surveying, trust in her just this once? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Um, It's tough to say. Given that the others have crossed, well, we'll trust in her just this once. Still, there's nothing to be gained by flat out doubting you. I guess that... The other thing was, like, what happens if we don't cross the, the plank? Nothing, and we wait for our death anyways? Besides, like Mitsuki said, worrying isn't going to make any difference if I can't come up with a solution. So we might as well just keep moving. Kurosaki reluctantly stepped onto the plank and began walking across. Well, it's not very wide, but it's not so thin that it can't be crossed, at least. I just have to make sure to keep my feet centered on the plank and keep sliding forward, bit by bit. Seems like I'll be able to keep going this way without too much trouble. Uh, what? Kurosaki suddenly noticed Yoshikazu Yanagiori standing at the foot of the beam, brandishing his trademark hammer. Oh no, is he just gonna like, is he gonna hammer the, the plank? You, uh, aren't planning on... Uh-oh. With that, he brought the hammer down, striking the plank repeatedly in several different spots. Wait, stop, I'm gonna fall! Yikes, doesn't look like he's gonna be stopping anytime soon. Didn't you tell me you weren't going to do anything? Uh-huh. And I'm not. But I never said the lunkhead wouldn't do anything. <laughs> God, what are you, five? Or, I, I guess you are still in grade school. Or were. But, but screw sem semantics, I'm gonna fall! Yeah, Kurosaki's not in the best situation here. He's not just swinging wildly. Every time that he strikes the board, it sways a little bit more. This is bad. Kurosaki, <laughs> Kurosaki, look out! He's found the resonance frequency of that plank and is delivering enough kinetic vibrations to inevitably cause its collapse. While such a thing definitely does exist, I don't get the impression Yoshikazu has the intelligence to identify the resonance frequency of the plank. This thing could give up from me at, or from under me at any moment. What should I do? <laughs> the narrator. All at once, a spark of inspiration lit up within Kurosaki's brain. It was a devilishly clever light bulb of an idea, and perhaps the only means through which he could possibly escape his current predicament. I yield, Sachiko, I give up! Didn't you hear me? I give up. I lost. You got me. So you can stop hitting this plank with that hammer now. Uh oh. What? Why? Why is Kizami here? As if in immediate response to this declaration of surrender, a figure materialized behind Kurosaki. <laughs> What do you mean, you give up? Did you really think this was the sort of thing you had the luxury of calling it quits on when it got too hard? Huh? Kizami? 
Sorry about this, Kurosaki. What? Is he going to kill him? The shadow followed this meek apology with an entirely heartless Sparta-style kick. <gasps> Kurosaki was no match for the force of this maneuver. He fell from the plank of wood with the utmost vigor into the darkened depths Hizami. below. For what it's worth, I really like what they did with the audio there. Kizami, but why? <laughs> yes, it really was Kizami. Like, the real, real Kizami? Was he summoned there, or did he go of his own volition, just secretly, to the others? Fury toward an unseemly companion. To think even I'm susceptible to such feelings. Companion? Quite the Freudian slip. Did I truly think of Kurosaki as a companion? Huh. <laughs> what pointless sentimentality on my part. <laughs> oh boy. Kizami's back at it. <laughs> so it looks like he did sort of sneak in to this challenge and is just... Doing the usual Kizami thing of killing people. Kizami, what did you just do? Why ask when you know the answer? I kicked Kurosaki down the pit, as you no doubt clearly saw. You... You murderer! Murderer? No, I think that's a bit inaccurate. What's inaccurate about it? You kicked Kurosaki to his death while he was desperately struggling not to fall. I actually, I wanted to point out real quick that I really enjoy Mitsuki's voice acting. I think it's like top tier. Kurosaki was already a good guy. <laughs> Kurosaki had been disqualified already. He failed. He was as good as dead, so I just helped him meet his inevitable fate a little sooner. Yeah, and in the real world, that's what they call murder. Because, <laughs> yeah, everybody is destined to die. I just let God, or, you know, pushed him towards the death a little bit faster. Yamamoto, why is it that you can't grasp such a simple concept? Or is the understanding simply too painful for you? Where do I even start? First off, you avoid participating in the race to save everyone from Byakudan, and now this? Kurosaki was your friend, wasn't he? <laughs> My friend? Hmm. Perhaps he was. I didn't even realize I had any of those. He certainly thought of you as a friend, for whatever that's worth. He was always telling us, Yuya may be a little awkward, but he's not a bad person. Nope, definitely. Definitely bad. <laughs> Just everything we know about him doing things to animals when he was a child, and obviously uh, going rather murderous in these heavenly host environments. <laughs> I'm not the person Kurosaki thought I was. Or, to put it another way, he didn't truly know me at all. <laughs> yeah, he sure didn't. If he knew what a monster you really are, then maybe, maybe he'd still be... Mitsuki, calm down. Calm down? Are you serious right now? Fukuroi, he... he kicked Kurosaki down the pit. Have you even processed that? 
俺だってこの目で見たんだからなだが今は言い合いをしている場合じゃない Of course I have. I saw it with my own eyes, but now is not the time to stand here and argue about it. I think you have to balance balance the risk of angering Kizami and I guess potentially spurring him to attack you, right? In the middle of this event.、Um, versus instilling the idea that, hey, this is not acceptable to decrease the likelihood of such events in the future. Honestly, I think the latter is a lost cause at this point. So, it's probably best to just move on regardless. It seems Fukuroi is a man of sound judgment. Kizami, just answer me one thing. If you had no intention of participating in this race, then why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why? Hmm, why, indeed? The answer is quite simple. Simple? Simple? Simple how? Oh boy. Alright. Allow me to take on a form which will make the answer painfully clear to you, at which point I will chase you down. It was then that Fukuro and Mitsuki both noticed the belt of transformation Kizami was wearing around his waist. Belt of transformation? What is he going to transform into? What? Okay. Was he given this item by Sachiko or what? He slowly, deliberately reached down to it and flipped a switch in its center. An electronic voice began reverberating through the halls. Do we see this belt? I don't really see it, do you? Okay. Count on Nagasini Janaika, Sasani. Don't most counters stop by this point? Yeah. I agree. Don't be in such a hurry, Fukuroi. If you think of this as a countdown to your descent into the land of the dead, it won't seem so long at all. Now we've got this black mist showing up too. Except it's counting up, isn't it? There's some kind of black mist forming around his body. What's happening to him? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's the darkening. You mean Kizami is even affected by the darkening? Could somebody be so dark prior to even being, I guess, in contact with the darkening that the darkening would just have no extra effect? Because I think if anybody, Kizami would apply. Darkening? Okay, 40 seconds and what? Transform! Oh! <laughs> Anatomical model, go! <laughs> That's actually really funny. For what it's worth, I think this is a reference to the very first game where I believe he's like low key skinned. To, ma to be made into the anatomic model, or he takes on the appearance of the anatomic model. Something goes on, but Kiyazami takes on this form in the very first game, and this is obviously a throwback to that. <laughs> Anatomical model? I guess for what it's worth, though, it it's much more clear than it has been in the past that this is something he is wearing over his usual body. <laughs> Better be careful. I won't be as kind now as I was before. <laughs> Mitsuki, why are you awesome? You weren't kind before, though. And how is it a transformation if you're just wearing a creepy bodysuit? You're supposed to be some kind of lab specimen? Yamamoto. 
Yamamoto, it seems you wish to be the first to die. I don't want to die at all. Yet, I will kill. <laughs> Limit break. Model kick! <laughs> so Kizami goes in for... I, I love the... I guess the parallels and the references to just like superheroes and you know like the Power Rangers or whatever it may be. The variety of things that transform. <laughs> Heroes that have like a proper transformation and then have like special powered up moves and stuff. Anyways, Kizami goes for a mega kick basically and Fukuroi jumps in to save her. The anatomical model slammed into Fukuroi with all its weight, pushing him over quite handily. Yikes, Kizami's been lifting. Mitsuki, if I don't make it, please, you need to survive. Yikes, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect Kizami to be this active this early. I was thinking, okay, what's gonna be up next for Kurosaki, another challenge like Seiko, and here we are, and Kizami's already back at the Kizami things. Yikes. Rather poor fate for him. It seemed as though Fukuroi was falling forever, but eventually the last trace of his failing form was swallowed by the darkness. Fukuroi served only as a trivial nuisance. Therefore, it seems only fitting he be discarded with equal triviality. Kizami, what the heck are you? Huh? Hmm? For you to so casually murder a companion you've spent such considerable time with up until now. Do you even understand the weight of a human life? Or do you just not actually understand anything at all? You, you're speaking nonsense as well. Mitsuki, this is the, this is the part where you probably run. I'll answer you though, nonetheless. And my answer is yes, 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 to your second question, that is. I don't understand anything at all. Are you even still human then? Hmm, am I? At the very least, I can tell you I have no interest in your pathetic interpersonal relationships. So, is that why we deserve to be killed then? All I did was make his life shine, to ensure it was equal with all things. Wait, what? How does that make any sense? <laughs> One of the things that's really funny is, next to his name they have a little question mark, so it's like, Hizami? Question mark? Anyways, what do you say, Yamamoto? Won't you show me yours as well? Your light that shines so bright and nearly blinds me? Ah, oh, I know. Yes, I know. How about you give me a warm embrace? I am rather warm myself, after all. What the... Oh my goodness! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! As if on cue, the anatomical model lit up like a match head, becoming instantaneously engulfed in flames. Is Kizami able to, like, survive in this? Like, look at that! Is it all a show? Is it, a, you know, I don't know what this suit is made out of, but... Is it some sort of, like, kamikaze type rationale or mentality going on here? I don't... I have no idea. Say hello to my little fire states. Atsuise! Atsuise! 
Hot's kite shinuze! Heat, heat, feel the heat till you die. Yamamoto, oh my name is Sigani Konoatsa Wake Ergarana. So hot, so very hot, and Yamamoto soon. You two will be able to share in this eternal heat. Sami, <laughs> what in the world is going through your head? Like heck I will. Just go off somewhere and burn to death for all I care. Mitsuki attempted to kick the anatomical model, but he completely blocked the impact with his arm. That's a nasty habit you've gotten, Yamamoto. And for you to attempt to kick me under these conditions... <laughs> Yet, I must at least give you credit for good sense, attempting a sudden middle kick. Dogo! <laughs> But you just didn't put your back into it. Uh-oh. Now, now, you mustn't get violent simply because you're scared. If you do, I may fall in myself. That sounds like a great idea. What? Doesn't seem like I'm going to be walking away from this, so I might as well be your guide. <laughs> Imbecile, this is far too manly a move for you. Well, sorry for being a little manish. Fall with me! Yikes, the two of them both lost their footing in the struggle and fell into the darkness below. I've always despised you, always hated the explosive power you bore. Hated that there existed a girl in this world so firmly committed in her decisions. Flattery will get you nowhere. I just wanted to ensure that when I died, I could avenge the deaths of Kurosaki and Fukuroi. So your feelings for your companions went out over even your own life. I'll never understand what it means to be human. Really? I don't get it either. But when you don't understand something, doesn't that just make you want to understand it? Hmm. <laughs> it just may. Wow. <laughs> so with that, Fukuro is dead, Kurosaki's dead, Mitsuki's dead, Kizami question mark is dead? Maybe? Maybe the darkness leads to something else? Maybe they don't die when the challenge is over? Maybe they get teleported somewhere else, but it seems like they're all dead. Which is very surprising because, I mean, I, I would expect them to be more prominent characters. So I'm a little bit skeptical, but because we've had such a big event happen and we're now switching scenarios quite a bit, I'm going to say that we'll figure out what Azusa and, I oh, forget the other girl's name, what they're up to, because they're not actually in this race, I don't think. We don't really know what's going on with them at the moment. I'm curious to figure out what's going on in their storyline. But of course, uh, we're going to find out more about that in the next episode. I know this was a shorter episode, but I think this is a good stopping point, and I don't feel it in me to have a little bit of a longer episode right now, so I appreciate your patience. But... Till next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>